Ready to fight? Ready. Well, this was a fight that just had to happen, as trite as that may sound. Corey Sanhagen versus Sean O'Malley. Some stylistic similarities in both fighters smack dab in the middle of their fighting prime. Yeah, right in the middle of their prime. And Sean O'Malley and Corey Sanhagen may be the only two fighters in his division to match each other's stats in terms of their physical attributes. Right. They're both tall, they're both long, they're both lean, and they both are very creative in their striking approach. This is one of the best matchups you can make at Bantamweight, and I'm excited to see it take place tonight inside the octagon. Man, I'm not sure if it was a gentleman's agreement for no feeling out there getting after it right out of the shoot. No feeling out process. These guys are here to end this fight quickly. Fast pace here in the early going. All right, good start for the Sugar Show. Sean O'Malley realizing particular success with that left hand. Yeah, he's got a great left hand. He's so long for the weight that he pops the jab and he just darts him with the left hand. And you see it on full display right now. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye and not there's a cut. But there's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Back and forth we go. Right on the button. Nice block. Oh, he lands another shot to the head. I will no surprise the striker has come out at his aggressive best here early, really throwing everything with fight ending intentions. He's throwing everything to end the fight, and he has to, because the longer this fight goes, his opponent has the advantage. And again, dealing with that cut around his eye, gotta be careful. He's gotta shore up the defense, because if he keeps getting hit there, it's only gonna continue to get worse. O'Malley gets caught with that punch. That was a big strike. Oh, how good is that hook? He lands another one here. He's connected on several in this round. Plenty more where that came from, to be sure. Oh, well, that eye is officially disgusting right now. I don't know, man, if I'm a doctor, maybe I'm thinking about getting involved. Well, you can see him getting up out of his seat. You know, he's looking very closely at the damage on the eye. We may get him in here before the round even ends. While the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved with this. Somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Round two straight ahead. All right, so that round is in the books. O'Malley's eye is in rough shape. I mean, I would just probably quit, but he's not going to do that. But I would not be surprised if the ringside physician did come in and take a look at that here between rounds. All right, back to the stools we go. Offensively, a lot to like from him, but on defense, he hasn't been able to stop anything tonight. Yeah, it's got to be the whole game, though, John. He's got to be willing and able to do everything. He's done a good job on the offensive side, but he has not defended well, and now he's dealing with that nasty cut. That cut is going to be an issue as the fight goes forward. He's got to change something. You ready to fight? Ready. Second ready. round underway. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. O'Malley's Both tough. Both unwilling to take a step back. What a phenomenal play. Big knee there.
you saw him raise the guard to block that offering from the opponent. Don't want... All right, so the ref has called a break to the action, and it likely means, yes, he will call in the doctor to look at that cut, which is just leaking all over the octagon right A lot of blood, John, but this is a fight. I mean, guys bleed, girls bleed. <laughs> it happens in a fight. These guys should be able to continue. Yeah, that's going to do it. No surprise there. The ringside position has called an end to the fight. You got to preserve the fighter to fight in the future, and uh, that cut just too big for him to continue through. All right, we go back inside the octagon to the veteran voice once more. He is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, the doctor has called a stop to this fight. You're playing the winner by...